Look at the little pigs and that one out there. That one, out, oh, that's a tough little cookie. He's like, I want, I want some food, mom. Mom, I want some food. Mom, mom, food, food, mom. Now, please. Food. She's like, I'm eating. They're like, no, we want to eat. She's like, fine. Nope, I'm eating. <laughs> They're so tiny in comparison to Mama. But he's like, Mom, I am hungry. I am hungry. I want food right now. Right now. Right now. She's like, oh my goodness. <sighs> Mama, food. Food, food, food. But I want to eat. But we want food. <laughs> Uh-oh. You guys going to go demand some food too? They're like, we're going to go demand food. Mama! We hungry! Mama! We hungry! Oh, one little guy's left. He's like, wait, I'm trying to get out there. <clears throat> Mama's like, alright, fine. But if I'm going to feed you, I'm going to make a little pillow. Because I'm going to be here for a minute. There we go. Look at that, guys. Some food. Warm you guys right up. Yeah, food. Whoop. Where are you going? Your food is over here. There you go. This little guy got a booboo on his head. I don't know who who boo-booed his head. Was it you? Two of them have boo-boos. So I'm going to guess maybe they fought or something. I'm not sure how that happened, but they seem to be all right. But two of them have boo-boos. <laughs> but look at him go. There you go. Good mama. Feeding the babies. Feeding the babies. Get on in there. Yeah, oh, fight. You fight for it, little one. You fight for it. Oh, bundled up. Get back in there. It's warmer in there. There you go. It's a big pile of straw now. Good and cozy. So I'm out here checking on the baby pigs this morning, and these three are doing real good. They're big, healthy, happy pigs. However, little Ice Cube is so skinny. She looks absolutely skinny. So I think I might get some food and separate her. And see, maybe get some. If you are ever going to feed baby pigs, I don't recommend bottle feeding. That's They can aspirate. Um, pan feeding is best. If you can get them to pan feed. I have bottle fed in an emergency, but admittedly I've only ever had one pig survive that and never, but I'm definitely going to have to get something because look how skinny she is. She's so skinny. I feel like we're not out of the woods yet. Poor thing. She's so skinny. She don't look great. So I definitely, poor thing, I definitely am going to have to get some some goat's milk and bring her in the house and see see what we can do for her because she's she's not looking great she's not looking great so definitely gonna have to do something with that um this little guy he's he's fattier he's got more meat on his bones than she does like he's looking okay we'll have to keep an eye on him too though so i'm a little concerned about ice cube yet so I'm definitely gonna have to get her get her some some good milk and start feeding her separate because she is looks like she's not going great so I'm gonna go to town and do that but these three look like they are just you guys are just doing great you guys are just doing great but um, <clears throat> we're not sure about these two over here particularly poor little ice cube she's so skinny so I'll have to do a little work with her and see what we can do poor thing so we'll see how it goes. It's a really hard thing to comfort an animal while it dies. You know it's not going to make it. But 
to try to keep them as comfortable and warm as possible. Poor Ice Cube. She's a fighter. She tried. I tried feeding her and stuff, but she's just not going to make it. But we'll keep her warm. Cozy. As cozy as possible. Unfortunately, by the time I got home from picking up the stuff to start feeding, um, little Ice Cube, she, she, I, she had already gone downhill a lot. I found her buried in the straw, and I brought her in the house and tried to feed her and everything, but unfortunately, she just didn't make it. I, she ended up dying while I was holding her, and I cried a lot. <laughs> Um, you know, having a farm, animals do, they do pass away and stuff, but it's always hard when they're babies, and it's also hard when they, you know, they have such a strong will to live, and she really tried. So, I figured the best memorial for her was to, uh, bury her in the flower garden. So, you know, someday she'll be, she'll be a beautiful flower. So, someday she'll be a flower.